In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the height of a triangle if you know the value of the three sides of the triangle. And we need to use Heron's formula to calculate the height. Now we know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. We know the base of the triangle, that's equal to 10, but what we don't know is the height of the triangle. However, if we can calculate the area of the triangle and we know the base, then using this formula, we could determine the height. So what we're going to do first is we're going to determine the area of this triangle using Heron's formula. So let's begin. To use Heron's formula, first you need to calculate S. S is basically A plus B plus C divided by 2, where A, B, and C are the three sides of the triangle. Since we have B set to 10, let's say that A is equal to 9 and C is 11. Now, once we calculate the value of S, we can then plug it into this formula to get the area of the triangle. So the area is going to be the square root of S times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. So let's begin. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this example yourself. So let's start with the first formula. Let's calculate s. So it's a which is 9 plus b that's 10 and then plus c that's 11. 9 plus 10 is 19. 19 plus 11 is 30. And 30 divided by 2 is 15. So now we have the value of S. Now let's use this formula to calculate the area of the triangle. So it's going to be the square root of S. S is 15. And then S minus A. So that's 15 minus 9, and then S minus B, 15 minus 10, and then S minus C, 15 minus 11. So 15 minus 9 is 6, and 15 minus 10 is 5, and then 15 minus 11 is 4. So rather than plugging this whole thing into a calculator, let's see if we can simplify it so that we can get the exact value in this expression. So first, I'm going to break down 15 into 5 and 3. 6, I'm going to write that as 3 and 2. I'm going to leave the 5 and the 4 alone. Now I'm going to combine 5 and 5 and make that 25. And then 3 and 3, I'm going to make it 9. And then I'm going to leave this 4 alone and I'm not going to change it to. Now we can break up the square root into individual square roots. So this becomes the square root of 25 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. The square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 4 is 2. Now, 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. So we now have the area of the triangle. The area is 30 times the square root of 2. So let's get a decimal answer for that. The square root of 2 is 1.414213 and some other numbers times 30. This gives us a decimal value of approximately 42.4264. So now let's calculate the height. So we know that area is 1 half base times height. And the exact value for the area is 30 square root 2. And the base, we know it's 10. So 1 half of 10, or 10 divided by 2, that's 5. Now to get h by itself, what we need to do is divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and on the left we have 30 divided by 5, which is 6. So the exact value for the height of the triangle is 6 times the square root of 2. 
for those of you who want a decimal value, that is approximately 8.45. So that's how you can calculate the height of a triangle given the three sides of the triangle. It's by calculating the area of the triangle using Heron's formula first, and then using the area of the triangle to calculate the height. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.